Hello and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you the cheapest thing I've ever done to my Defender modification wise, but honestly, the most life-changing driving it. It cost me less than 30 pounds and I cover the whole thing in this video. I also have the biggest, most expensive upgrade I've ever done to my Defender 90 and the video is coming out next Sunday. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see my Defender journey, make sure you subscribe. This is probably the most annoying thing with my Defender. When I speak to other people who have Defenders, similarly they say, this is the most irritating aspect of driving a Defender because as soon as you get going at any kind of speed, I'm talking like 40 to 50 miles per hour, they slowly start to creep inwards and then you can't see anything out of your mirrors. Now, these are aftermarket mirrors that have been fitted. Before I owned the truck, I did actually spray them Keswick green uh, to match, to color coded them, but this mechanism is universal and the same on all of them. Today what I'm going to be doing is coming up with a solution to stop this happening and fix it for good. And I think this is the problem. When you look, you've got a very smooth ball there. This little clamp that goes up and uh, locks it. And then on the mirror side, you've got again a very smooth socket. So there's almost no way that that is going to ever be able to get you enough traction to stop things slipping off there. So what you need to do really, what I think you need to do is create more friction between this ball here and then also that round socket. Now what I've also done today is these mirrors are quite large. These are by a company called Unitruck. Um, quite large mirrors generally. I've got some smaller mirrors I'm going to put on to reduce the wind resistance and then I'm going to come up with a way to increase the friction point between here and the mirror head in a way that I hope will make a difference. I mean that they won't flop inwards or move when I don't want them to. So these are my new mirror heads. They are gloss black instead of the Keswick green. I still think they'll look quite good with my car because I've got my gloss black arches and also the gloss black roof. And they're quite a bit smaller than the um, ones I've got on. So I think when these go on here, not only are they a bit smaller, but also they will um, hopefully reduce wind resistance. And also I'm gonna to to find a way to lock them on a bit better. Now these are just Brit part actually. They are, I was looking at a lot of expensive mirrors, but I went for Brit part in the end because they're a 27 pound a pair. They're actually pretty well made um, for 27 pound. And they come as a pair and it's a lot cheaper than buying any other mirror heads that I found. And these are called the, I think the Defender XS gloss back sort of addition to make your color look like an X, XS spec. Uh, for me, quite like Keswick green, but I think the gloss black will look good with the rest of the colorings on my car. So the Brit part ones come with a very similar sort of um, locking uh, piece, clip in, then go up, and then the little screw goes and shuts it in that little ball joint there. And these fit really well onto my mirrors. They look a lot smaller, they look pretty smart actually in gloss black, I'm quite happy with how that looks. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is find a way to stop this from happening so much, and then we'll see if we can stop them from coming off or at least bending down when you go quick. So a couple of options after speaking to actually some of the guys over at Alive Tuning, they said an option would be is to create some friction by making a few little dots, a few little scores inside there or actually on the ball itself. So you could get an angle grinder and cut a few sort of lines in here, which I might do actually just to create a bit more friction. But I've got an idea to start with to see if it works and it looks a bit stupid. But basically this is a piece of plastic bag like off a kind of package. It stretches a little bit and it forms. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stretch it over here. Then I'm gonna put that little clamping thing on. And I reckon the actual ability, the actual difference having a bit of sticky plastic on there might make a difference without having to damage anything. So let's see if that works in the first instance. Stretch that plastic over there and uh, I don't know if that is going to work, but it has created a bit more, something that feels a bit more grippy, maybe, for the arms. Obviously, I'm going to cut off the excess once I get the mirror head on, and, uh, and it actually works. I can trim that up so you won't be able to see any of that awful bodge job, should we call it? But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. So, just screwed that on there. The awful plastic hanging out the bottom. But actually, you know what? That is pretty solid now. Doesn't really move at all. I can't quite believe, to be honest, this has made a difference, but it does seem to have done. Just stopped it moving so easily. So let's um, let's cut that off, fix the other one on, and I'll go for a test drive and see if this does move at all when I get going. But um, so far, it does seem like that very simple thing, which I didn't think was going to fix it, has actually made a bit of a difference. So got that in the perfect position now, tightened it up, and um, yeah, seems to be all good, seems to be working well. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll go to the other one, see what that looks like. But... This definitely is quite a lot smaller, as you can see, and I think that probably will help with the wind element as well, make it a bit easier to, will not get blown down quite as uh, quickly. So these are the um, mirror heads that I've been using. So let's take a look at this. They are from Britpart, like I say, and although Britpart, I think, has a bad reputation for some of the bits they make, some of it is actually all right, and especially for things like this, if they work, 
actually I see it being quite good value for money really considering how much some of the other bits of gear are so this is what we're going to be doing on the other side fitting that there's a little bracket you can see on there that we're taking off much like the older bracket that comes off these mirrors uh, too so just taking the other one off as you can see previously tried many things including putting some glue around the area which hasn't worked just come out of there now but yeah what we're gonna do put the plastic back on there that trip with that little plastic bag and let's see if that works for this side too let's do my little bag trick on this side clean all that before we do then we're gonna put that on top and what i did in the other one is when i stretched it over i did score it a bit and break it a little bit because i thought that helped with a bit more traction i don't know how much of this i'm completely just making up but it does seem to be working for me so far so hopefully you guys watching it does make a difference. But let me know in the comments below, have you got problems with your mirror heads? Is this a problem you face? Because this is probably my most frustrating element of driving my Defender day to day is these mirror head issues. So after I've done that, what I've been doing is getting like a little screwdriver end and just scoring it like this in a few places, just creating a bit more traction. Like I say, it looks like I'm doing some kind of tutorial here, but I honestly don't know what I'm doing. But I do know that it has made a difference on the other side and it has solved one of my biggest problems very quickly. So hopefully it does work when we go for a test drive, but that's kind of what I've done. And it does feel a bit more sticky, a bit more grippy. And uh, I think that seems to be working for, for them so far. So we're out and about in my Defender now. Let's have a look. So when you look down there now, you can probably just see the side of the Defender there and the, uh, the mirror head. So it looks really good. It's before we've done any kind of speed. Going across the other side, let's have a look. And again, side of the Defender, and looks really good. So they all stayed in place so far. So now let's go for a bit of a drive and see how they shape up. I've just got home and they haven't moved a single bit. So I'm so, so happy that I've finally solved that problem, which was really one of my most frustrating problems. And I can't believe I haven't sorted it out sooner. So the little plastic bag trick works really well. I suppose I was also thinking you could use something like um, a surgical glove, put that over the top, anything with a bit of grip really, like a rubber skin. Uh, the plastic bag though, super cheap, just came through a post this morning uh, with another delivery and I've used that and it's actually worked. So really pleased with that. In total, that fix cost me £27.50 and it's probably changed the way I use my Defender and can drive my Defender now, so a really good upgrade. I have a massive upgrade coming to my Defender this week, and there will be a video out next weekend, so please subscribe to the channel and watch out for it. It's the biggest one yet. If this video has been useful, give me a like, drop a comment of what you think in the box below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.